Hello and welcome to Bring the Pain. This is where I do a whole lot of very difficult exponent problems and you watch me struggle through it. And um, we're going to look at some of the hardest problems that there will be. So if you can do this, you're going to be in great shape for your test. This is where like, the practice is harder than the game. So we're going to look at some of the most difficult things and see if you can follow. So the first problem, we've got multiplication, but we also have power to power. When I see power to power, that's what I always want to try to deal with first. So here's power to power. And I know it's 3 to the second power is 9. I multiply the exponents. y to the 16th, z to the negative 8. And I'm just going to write it negative. I'll deal with that in a moment. This one power to power, 2 raised to the third power is 8. 0 times 3 is 0. I don't have to write it, I will anyhow, just to show it doesn't really matter. y to the 15th, z to the 3rd. So I've done power to power, power to power. Now I'm left with multiplication. So I'll just multiply. The coefficients, 8 and 9, that's 72. The exponents, I know when multiplying common bases, I add the exponents. So x 10 plus 0 is still 10. See, it didn't matter if I just didn't even write this, it's still going to be 10 y16 and y15 is y31. And z to the negative 8 plus 3 is going to be negative 5. Don't ever leave your answer sitting like this with a negative exponent sitting there. We always want to finish that. This means when it's negative, I do not want to be in the upstairs. I don't live here. I want to go someplace else. This guy has to go in the bottom. z to the fifth downstairs. Okay, the next one, we have power to power. That's what I'm looking for first. Here's my power to power. So I'm going to keep the top the exact same in the bottom. 2 to the third is 8. m to the negative 12. Okay, now there's a couple ways we can deal with this. You could think, okay, negative 4 minus negative 12 minus a negative is really plus a positive, so it's like a negative 4 plus a 12, which is probably going to be 8. You can think that way. That's fine. That works. I don't like thinking that way. It's too confusing for me. I'm not that smart. So I take the things that are negative, and I say, he doesn't want to be upstairs. He wants to live downstairs. He doesn't want to be downstairs. He wants to come up. So let's just trade these guys and put them where they want to be. So 2m to the 12th in the top, and 8m to the 4th in the bottom. Now it's a little bit easier for a simple mind like mine. 2 eighths reduces to be one-fourth. And now I just go up. Oh, four of these cancel with four of these. Twelve minus four gives me eight. And here's my answer. I don't even really need to write the one. I could just have m to the eighth over four, and that would be okay. All right. Next ones. Ugh. If you need to pause this to be able to write these down before I begin, that's probably smart. But I'm just going to go ahead here. Do I have power to power? Uh, yes, I do. I have x to the negative third to the fourth. So that gives me x to the negative twelfth. Everything else I'm just going to write the same. x to the fourth, 2x to the negative third. Okay. Now, um, I could do moving, but I'm going to just clean this up. I know these guys can go together in the top. So this is going to be x to the negative eight in the top. If I put those together, because that's multiplying common bases, add the exponents, and I still have 2x to the negative 3 in the bottom. Just like the last problem, now I can reshuffle. He doesn't want to be here. He wants to be in the basement. He doesn't want to be here. He wants to be in the top. The 2 is a coefficient. He doesn't get the choice. So now, divide. 3 of these cancel with 3 of these, leaving me 5x's in the bottom. And when there's nothing left on the top, remember to always write a 1. So 1 over 2x to the fifth. My next problem, I've got power to power, but it's a tricky power to power because it's a negative exponent power to power. When I see a negative exponent power to power, that means this whole thing is the reciprocal. This whole thing does not belong upstairs. Move this whole part down. That's the very first thing that I do. So I'll keep this the same. But this whole business is going to come down here. 
I'm going to rewrite it the exact same, even with the negative. Rewrite it all the same, but now it's raised to the positive 4 power. And this is also in the denominator, so it stays in the denominator. So when you see a negative power to power, that whole thing needs to change. And now I can do my power to power, just like before. Uh, the top is going to stay the same. The bottom, I've got 2 to the 4th, which is 16. P to the 4th, M to the negative 4th. Q to the 0 times 4 is 0, so I don't even really need to write the Q. It's fine. It's just 1. It doesn't matter if I write it. Okay, can I clean up some things here on the bottom? I've got some coefficients, 16 and 2. That makes 32. And my P's, there's 1P over here and 4 more, so there's P to the 5th. Here's M to the negative 4th and Q squared. Up on top, I've got still this same thing. Whew, I'm getting tired. All right, I'm not finished yet. Now i got to change change. So here's some negatives, here's some negatives. Let's change those. 2 over 32, I'll keep that for the time being. I'm going to move this one up, move this one down. And I've got p to the fifth, q squared, p to the third. Now I'm almost done. These are coefficients, so I can reduce. Oh, it's 32. So I'm almost finished here. 2 divided by 32 is 1 over 16. M to the third. P squared. Q squared. There's my final answer. The paint is finished. Have a good day.